A report from the American Heart Association says multivitamin supplements do not prevent strokes or heart attacks. So many of us take these vitamins as a part of our daily routine. So have we been wasting our time? Uh, uh, yeah. We're bringing our very own medical expert, Dr. Ryan Light with TPMG at Greenbrier Family Medicine for our morning rounds to answer that question, should we be taking a daily multivitamin? Well, the research is pretty clear that there is no net benefit, so it doesn't decrease your risk of stroke, heart attack, or even memory decline. A well-balanced diet, like plenty of fruits, vegetables, as well as lean proteins and whole grains, probably is the best advice, and it usually holds true, like the old adage, that you are what you eat. All right, an apple a day. Well, maybe it doesn't keep the doctor away, but we want him around. Yes. Right? So, okay, we talked about multivitamins. Is this the case for, for all vitamins? Because the shelf is full of different mm -hmm. ones at the store. Well, if you don't have a true vitamin deficiency, probably overkill. Uh, so if you've had gastric bypass, we'd probably recommend it. If you're a female of childbearing years, we'd recommend a multivitamin just to prevent nerve tube defects. And then vitamin D and vitamin uh, calcium are recommended for osteoporosis prevention. And in talking about those, uh, you know, the multivitamin kind of crams them all in there. Do they work better if you take like, well, here's a B6, here's a vitamin D. Do they work better if you take them separately? Well, there's no research that one's better than the other, whether it's a multivitamin or single. You have to be cautious of toxicities to vitamins. So if you're taking a multivitamin over here and then something else added to it, so you've got to watch the recommended daily allowances. The vitamins you have to watch out for are vitamins A, D, E, and K, and those are the fat-soluble vitamins, and they can accumulate in the body. Plus, if you take them all separately, then you get to buy one of those nifty pill containers, and that's half the fun right there. Yeah. All right, so there have to be some vitamins out there that are, that are worth the time. So which ones should you take? Which ones might be a waste of money? Well, it's a $12 billion industry. <laughs> and if there are a magical vitamin out there that existed, I'd be telling you about it right now. So pretty much if you don't have vitamin deficiency and you're eating a well-balanced diet, is the best bet. So eat the well-balanced diet, get the regular exercise. That'll lead to a long life and better health throughout your life. All right, and also save some money. I like all of that.